Hey everyone, Tom Sparks here, Sparks Media Group. Today we're going to do a Matterport 3D tour of a property in San Francisco, 88 King Street, number 713. Uh, so let's get into it. I've already put the address in, and here we've already done the first scan in the hallway. Now I could probably speed this up, but I'm not. I'm just going to pretty much show you how it's done real time. Now my first scan was at an intersection where the doorway met the hallway. Uh, the doorway would be to the right of number one um, and at the bottom of number one would be a uh, closet. I put uh, the second scan position in place to show what was on the side of the closet and the second scan position is actually actually right by the front door. Number three is at an intersection where the hallway meets uh, the first bathroom. Now, I like to mark everything as I go. So here I'm marking a mirror, and I'm gonna do a second scan in the bathroom to try to fill in the area around the tub. Here I'm working my way down the hall. The first intersection point uh, is going to be towards the kitchen, living areas, and then at the top of the screen, that's going to uh, the second bedroom. When we're going into new rooms or going through doorways, I like to scan on one side of the doorway and then immediately scan on the other side of the doorway. So number nine is placed on the hallway side of the doorway. And then number 10 will be on the bedroom side of the doorway. Now 
Now there's a mirror here that I'm marking. And I did get an alignment error. Not sure why. Uh, I think it was because I marked it. Or I think it's because uh, it was trying to align before I marked the mirror. So I just went and marked the window and the mirror and then I'm gonna rescan pretty much in the same spot. So the goal obviously is to capture the entire space and make a digital twin with it. Uh, and to do that, we have to fill in all the black spaces um, as the Matterport scans are populating. Sometimes it's easier to do than others, but we try our best. Um, the more scan points we have in a space, the better the tour is, as far as a user experience. I've seen some scans that have, you know, one or two scans in a room, uh, which doesn't make for a very good 3D virtual tour. Um, you can go on the opposite end and go overboard and have too many scans, uh, but I try to get uh, an accurate representation of what it would be like to walk through a property. In order to make a digital twin, we want to try to capture every space uh, at the property and so what I try to do is scan the closets so first I'll do a room with the closet doors closed uh, and then I have enough scan data there where if I open the closet doors and rescan Matterport should pick it up and be able to auto align occasionally we'll get errors uh, but this has worked out pretty well for me so far this bedroom had two closets, side by side. Or it was one long closet with two doors. Uh, and so I number 16 was scanned with the closet door open. And then number 17 here in a, in a minute will be scanned with the other closet door open. And what I do is I hide those scan points on the 3D tour so that people won't be able to click and see what's inside the closet. The advantage is that the dollhouse view is much prettier when you have um, 
filled in spaces versus black squares. Another advantage is uh, we're able to get a more accurate floor plan from this. So now that I've finished that bedroom, uh, I'm marking the reflective surface of the closet door right here. And then I'm going to continue down the hallway from number 7, uh, which leads into the kitchen area. As I go, I occasionally like to preview scans to make sure that I'm not in any uh, mirror reflections. So that's probably what I was doing right there. Now, here's another example. Uh, scan point 23 is on the living room side of the doorway. And scan point number 24 will be on the office side of the doorway.
As I was saying earlier, I like to mark uh, as I go. So here I'm marking uh, various windows. Here I'm marking some French doors that have glass window panes in them. And I'm doing this so that Eye Guide doesn't freak out when it tries to align the next scan point.
Now, this is a covered um, balcony. Uh, there's shade there, so Matterport was able to see outside. So we're gonna try to go out and scan this area. I'm marking the glass um, railings as uh, mirrors so that Eye Guide will crop off all the data behind that. The splatter is what I call it, anything past that mark. Now I noticed one of the markings that I did, the mirror is pointed outward. I'm going to fix that and have it pointed inward and re-upload the scan to Eye Guide for processing. These were pretty neat scan points, um, number 34 and 35, I was able to raise the tripod and scan it right next to the railing so you can really get some nice view shots if you go to those scan points on the uh, 3D tour. Now I probably had enough scan points in the living room, but I wanted to kind of complete the path going towards uh, the primary bedroom. And so 36, 37, 38 is all gonna be fill-ins going towards that uh, primary bedroom path.
And keeping with our theme, we have uh, scan point number 40 on um, the living spaces side of the doorway. And then scan point 41 will be on the primary bedroom side of the doorway. Now the space I'm going into next uh, was a shower, a toilet, and a washer and dryer. And the doorway opened towards the toilet and shower and partially blocked the shower. So I had to get kind of creative with the scan points. Uh, and you'll see as I'm adding to it, and then you'll be able to click on the link uh, in the description to the actual 3D tour and see what that looks like and how I processed that, how I worked around that door. Here we're in the primary bedroom and 
windows marked. There's a big mirror along this uh, headboard that I'm going to mark. Now that I have the uh, primary bedroom done, I'm going to go and fill in the two closets that are here. So originally when I passed these closets, I did the doors closed. And now there's enough scan data where doing them with the doors open, it was able to align it easily.
And there you have it. So I will upload this to the Matterport account. I always select the blur faces even though um, there was nobody in the shots. And that's quick, it uploaded very quickly. All in all, this uh, 3D tour took about 35 minutes, give or take, to complete. And I'll put the link to the tour in the description. Thanks for watching.